is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Adrive. I bring you guys a brand new video today. Today we're talking about some Pokemon Sword and Shield content. There's a brand new commercial that came out in English, a little bit different than the one we looked at yesterday. We've got a ton of stuff regarding messages to Game Freak. We've got the Bring Back National Dex controversy. We've got Toby Fox. We've got the Nintendo Switch Lite Zacian and Zamazenta opening. There's so much to do in this video, so you guys need to stick around for the entire thing because you won't want to miss it. I'm going to tell you guys how you can win some Switch Lights as well, which is pretty darn awesome if you ask me hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new i'm almost at a half a million subscribers we're almost at a half a million subscribers a drive army pretty nuts stuff man and uh, obviously new intro on the channel i posted it yesterday but i'm curious to see your thoughts whether you like the song or not i actually am going to use a different song today than i used yesterday so you guys can let me know which one you like more i guess between yesterday's video and today's video but anyway let's jump into this commercial man because it's it's pretty good it's pretty good i loved it let's take a look your journey to become a Pokemon I love when they show like real life stuff, right? So they're playing on the handheld Switch, the Switch Lite. There's a nice HD look of Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. They look amazing like that. And then they're in this like open field. So cool. And there is Gigantamax Charizard. I'll put the link to this in the description so you guys can kind of hear it without me talking over it. Of course, there's Gigantamax Charizard. You got the Dynamaxing and then Pokemon Sword and Shield available. Obviously on the switch light so pretty cool little commercial nothing too crazy But some of the scenes with Charizard were dope like this one particularly right here I mean to me that just looks awesome. I really like it Charizard's you know Charizard's a bro They're really appealing to our gen 1 homies. There's no doubt about that So really cool commercial again short. This is the English version of it We saw a little bit different version in Japanese yesterday next we're gonna look at here is Pokemon posted and this is actually number 31 on trending and we're gonna talk about trending here in a second a few musical notes from Toby Fox Let's listen So kind of a cool little bop here. So for those who don't know, Toby Fox is the developer of a game called Undertale, uh, known for doing a couple different musical endeavors and writing the music there, which was very uh, perceived very well. So he did a song on Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is really cool. I think this had leaked like last week or whatever, but uh, it was officially revealed. So figured we'd cover that. Now the next one, we're gonna take a little bit of a kind of a step away from some some of the normal stuff and talk about this because I think this is important from a community perspective. Joe Merrick, who runs the website Serebi.net, is one of the anchors of the community, right? You may not know who Joe is, but he runs one of the biggest Pokemon kind of fan informative sites in the world, and it's a site that I've personally been using since dial-up internet. I remember asking my mom if I could use the internet and the computer, and we'd have to disconnect our phone line and do the wee 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 wee, you know, like the dial-up sound for. Those of you guys who are too young might not even know what dial-up is, but you couldn't be on the internet and the phone at the same time. So anyway, I used to use dial-up to go on Serebi.net so I can actually research Pokemon when I was like, I don't know, 12 years old, man. So it's really crazy to think back how long I've been using this website. And Joe is, like I said, kind of like an anchor of the community. And he made a lot of people upset with his post yesterday. So he reached out to Junichi Masuda, Shigeru Omori, and Game Freak, the two directors and, of course, the company Game Freak, and posted this message in Japanese. Now, luckily, we have someone who translated here, and it's a bit of a rust translation, but let's read it. Hello, as a representative of many Pokemon fans, I'd like to convey the gratitude of the Pokemon game software that everyone has always developed. Unfortunately, there's a hard fact that not every fan is gonna agree, agree with every decision, but anyway, fans love Pokemon games and software and the titles they bring to the world every time. I think that there are many people who are excited to just imagine the new Pokemon and characters we can meet. Certainly, there's some opposition voices or opposing voices, but I think when times are difficult, it's important to remember that that's not the voice or opinion of all the fans. Finally, Pokemon is a series that's attractive to children all around the world, and there are many children who are looking forward to the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield, as well as a lot of fans who have just who are grown up. Now, obviously, it's a rough translation, so it's not going to be like I exact or anything like that. But very, very interesting. So Joe Merrick decides to post this message with all the negativity surrounding Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I honestly feel like, hey, you know what? I stand with Joe on this one, man. Listen, and we're going to talk about this Bring Back National Dex thing real quick. And I might upset some people, but I'm going to give you guys my perspective as the perspective of an adult, as the perspective of a grown individual who uh, will tell you that sometimes you don't get everything you want in the world. So let me break it down for you guys. And I understand, again, this is a little controversial, but you know what? I I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts and my opinion. So let me, let, me, let me jump into that here in a second. In controversy of that, Mystic Umbreon, a pal of mine on YouTube, decided to start the trending topic this morning, or start the hashtag, thank you Game Freak, and it is actually trending right now, which is very cool. I posted this morning to jump on top of it. 
because I thought it was a really cool idea. Thank you, Game Freak, for wonderful memories over the years. Your creation of Pokemon has changed the lives of many, young and old. I'm excited about our new Galar adventure. And then, of course, who trended it, which is a uh, bot that it determines who actually, uh, you know, kind of promotes a tweet to be trending, actually said that I did it. But I, I responded to this and said, no, it was Mystic Umbreon. My man, Mystic Umbreon, deserves the credit. He started it. I just happened to get on it and talk about it as well. So, here we go. I made a tweet last night, and, and again, I know this is a little bit separate, but I really wanted to take a moment in this video to talk about it. I said, real talk, if you aren't happy with Sword and Shield for whatever reason, don't buy it. That's it. Just don't buy it. Move on with your life. If you're excited like I am, let's hop on the hype train, because we have an incredible next couple months ahead of us. Now, this obviously, you can see a lot of retweets, a lot of likes. This spurred a ton of conversation, and, it, and, and I ended up making some kind of funny tweets. Uh, poking the bear on the bring back national decks controversy. Here is the last thing I'm gonna say about the bring back national decks. You have every right to be upset. You have every right to be mad that Patch Rat's not gonna be in the game, and that is all good. Here's the thing though, Game Freak has acknowledged the fact that people are upset. They know, they heard about it. They put out a public statement and said, hey, we heard your concerns, we heard your, your complaints, we're not gonna change anything about Sword and Shield. So that's it, it's done, we're done, that's it. Your continued complaints and whining on the internet will not change anything. The only thing that's gonna change something is not buying the game. And if you think that spouting a hashtag on Twitter or commenting and, and, and harassing these developers or anything of the sort is going to change anything in your life, it is not gonna change anything. If they hadn't already put out a statement, then by all means, you know, scre scream away on the internet. But They've already said they're not changing anything. The game comes out next week. None of us have even played the game. Can we just acknowledge that? None of us have even played the game. How can we judge a game we haven't even played yet? It may be the best Pokemon game of all time. We haven't even given it a shot yet. That's another thing. But the only way that your voice is truly going to be heard to those who are ups upset about the decks and can't get over it, and that's fine, the only way your voice can be heard is if you don't buy the game. Simple as that. And if you don't believe me, then I don't think your maturity level is high enough to understand that situation. I understand protesting, I understand having your voice heard, I get that. They heard the voices. They decided they're not going to do anything about it on this game because they probably can't yet. It's not enough time to do it. And the only way they're going to make a change moving forward and change the philosophy is if the sales tank. So that's it. That's my opinion. That's how I feel about it. If you disagree, that's great. We can disagree. It's all good. We can agree to disagree and we'll move on. But that's how I feel about it. There's so many people who are still complaining and it just blows my mind because it's like, at what point do you just move on with your life, dude? Like, I love Pokemon more than most people, right? It's it's what I do every single day. And like, I was able to move on and just and just say, okay, it is what it is. Like, it stinks, dude. I want I want Pinsir and Heracross and, and Scissor in the game. I love those mons. It stinks. Mothum, one of my old favorite Pokemon, isn't in the game. But guess what? I'm gonna get over it. It is what it is, dude. Like, seriously, can we get over it? Thank you. Anyway, last bit of stuff here. I got some cool stuff. Boom, Nintendo Switch Lite, baby. Listen, I've got it right here. If you guys want a Nintendo Switch Lite, next week, Friday, November 11th, I'm or November 15th, I'm sorry, I'm doing a 252-hour live stream marathon. If you haven't heard about it, I don't know how you missed it, but you can check out the description below to enter to win. There's a trailer here, there's a giveaway link. I'm giving away three Switch Lights, baby, and you know it's legit because they're in my hand, all right? This is, I'm not trying to flex. I'm giving you guys these, all right? This is because I love you guys. I want you guys to come to my marathon. It's gonna be awesome, all right? But in the meantime, while we're doing that, I thought it'd be cool to kind of showcase this Switch Lite. Now, this isn't gonna be one of the ones I'm gonna give away. Don't worry. I'm gonna, I have, I have four, so it's okay. I am gonna show you guys the Switch Lite because I got one, so let's unbox it. I just got them yesterday. So let's take a peek. Let's pop this bad boy open and see what we're working with, man. I thought that that'd be cool. So I uh, hope you guys hear me out on, on kind of my ranting there. It's just been, it's just been crazy, man. Like, I, I genuinely just want people to be happy with their life. And, like, I'm a super positive person. And I just, I love my life. And I'm just not going to let something like that, like, ruin my life, man. I'm just going to move on because, you know, they've already acknowledged it. But anyway, you kind of pop it open. You got the Switch here on the top. It's actually a lot smaller. Let me grab my regular Switch as a comparison. My wife and I are having this conversation last night, so we can kind of compare here. So this is the comparison. I've got the two. And I'm going to line it up from left to right. About lined up and you can see just how big it is I mean the difference is the joy con so if you want to get a proper understanding roughly of how big a switch light is without spending any money just pop a joy con off of your switch and then that's about the size it, it seems um, the screens a little bit smaller though obviously uh, and it's not like a perfect match right like there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, kind of wiggle room on the top there so that's pretty cool so let's uh, let's take a, a, a better look at this bad boy because it does look pretty cool I will say I like the design I think it could be better um, if I'm being totally honest, but uh, there's the background. It's a little tough to see, but 
There is a Z uh, Zamazenta kind of engraving here, and then a Zacian kind of engraving there. And then um, you've got kind of the two, the red and the blue on the Joy-Cons there. And you've got the volume button, power button. It feels really comfortable to hold. It's really small, which is nice. I think I'm actually going to try to rock one of these. The thing that's a little tricky for me is, as a content creator, the fact that it cannot be docked is incredibly frustrating. So, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but apparently you can system transfer these and, like, go from one Switch to another and just, like, system transfer it. I'm going to pack it up for now because I don't really know when I'm going to actually play it or use it, but I am going to use this one. Like, this one is definitely... Or my wife will use it or something. I don't know. I bet I, I do think it's pretty cool. So anyway, that's everything I have to say in this video. We checked out the trailer. Toby Fox talked about all the controversies going on. I gave my honest, genuine thoughts. And uh, I hope you guys like the intro and the new music today. Let me know which one you like more. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.